What is up, everyone? I know it's been forever since I've done one of these, and I apologize. i um, dealing with some real-life uh, stuff right now, so hopefully good things will come from it. And anyway, let's jump into what you're here for. Recap. Just came out fresh off the devs' vacation. This is a pretty awesome-looking video. Oh, I'm looking forward to most of V12. I'll, I'll put it that I'm mildly disappointed in a, couple, in a few parts, but we'll get to that when it gets to it. But otherwise, the game needs this update. So, V12, optimization, bam. They're doing behind-the-scenes stuff. They're trying to get us to what they promised, the 100-player server limits. They're still working on it, so they have not abandoned that idea. And that's awesome. Kudos to the dev team for just constantly chugging it. I know this has probably caused them countless sleepless nights, headaches from hell, tons of ibuprofen and water, or Motrin and water, depending on your service branch, if you get my joke. Right here, this is going to be awesome. They're redoing the way like the map loads on you from what I can get from this so I guess the further away you were from the center of the map the more it would mess you up so they're fixing that so they're essentially repositioning the origin of the world for each player to reduce the distance between the origin of the player fixing the jitters that you experience making things run a lot smoother once again optimization here the behind the scenes stuff that this right here probably could be its own update but the devs are putting it in with extra content i'm looking forward to this little bastard so much because holy shit have i hated the old reticle where it's like right click and then you try and click something else and it's like nope 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 when you're trying to do it quickly and it's just like nope so some of the command menus it's just all right here not going to read them all because you know, there's more content to go over so i'll leave this here if you want to pause it read them really good stuff i'm so excited and yeah fire team functionality finally we're getting the separations of fire teams which is going to be huge to say the least able to coordinate your squad into smaller sections to do other jobs so you can say fire team b go take care of this fire team a on me let's do this oh that's gonna be awesome so and this is gonna be pretty important for those of you that are squad leads gonna have to drag them and place it not like drag the person in game don't think that's getting added yet so sorry all you medics so this is this is something I'm looking forward to because this will crush the technicals and actually give people a fair advantage but it's going to make people want to drive on the roads more so yeah lowest resistance right here is asphalt concrete solid wood gravel comes next dirt and grass lay down sand and snow or where it really is going to suck and then mud so example the riverbed in Gordok can't use that anymore well you can still use it but it's vastly going to slow your vehicles down so for non-offer of vehicles technicals change will have a significant impact on their ability to zip across the map so yeah drive on roads but don't drive on roads basically so the vehicle manual override for gearbox so yeah basically sums up right here wanted to have more granular way for players to control how fast the vehicles moving and they achieved it all right so if you want to stay in first gear all the way you can do it but i feel like that could be a problem later on so but yeah this will be nice so you can actually not have to tap w to get your vehicle to go the speed you want you can just set it to first second and make sure you go at a slow speed when you're like moving with infantry to clear out of town 
so you're not just bolting and leaving your infantry support behind. Very helpful. And there's a new armored taxi, I believe is what they're calling it. But the FV-432 APC. For, you guessed it, the British faction. They're the only ones with that goofy looking helmet. So yeah, this is uh, it's going to be an open turret 50 cal. Both pictures. I don't think they're going to allow a curl on it. So you can shoot out the gunner support. Different camos, which looks awesome. Yeah, battle taxi. Not confused with iron taxi. Just more pretty photos of it. They're adding the foul to the militia faction. So, gonna be interesting. Just a little video of them shooting it. More uh, sexy pictures. And then they have this. This is a new map. So, we're getting some new maps, getting some new vehicles. And there's a sandstorm during this from what I can tell. Like it'll just go from nice to shit real fast. And that's awesome. It's more pretty pictures. Battle bead landscape. It's so pretty. <laughs> Don't make me cry. So this is the summary of everything that Alpha 12 is coming out with. And here's where I'm going to tell you the biggest thing that I'm not. I, I, no. Like. Alright, I love this. This is going to make the map play awesome and go everywhere and do random stuff. New suppression system. Going to love it. Rifle and ammo bags. Cool. This is the dumbest thing I've ever fucking heard of. What this is, is from what I've been able to figure out, is when you fucking die, you spawn in with exactly the same amount of ammunition and stuff that you had before. Now, if this is including bandages and stuff like that, it just, no. Like, this is the dumbest thing possible because what this is going to do to the game, in my opinion, this is my opinion, and I love to do super fobs, but this is literally going to be a super fob versus a super fob and fight over one cap. Because not a lot of people are going to want to push off anymore. Because if I'm a lat and I use my lat to kill, you know, a BTR or a striker, and then my squad is, oh, hey, come here. I need you to spawn over here and take out this other vehicle after I'm dead out of the forward position because we're pushing on. While I do that, I'm useless. And if that means i got to rely on these guys to put ammo bags down, it's just dumb. I really don't understand the point of this at all. I feel like this is going to hurt the game more than it's going to help, but I could be I could be completely fucking wrong. I could start playing 12 and love this system in its entirety, but as of right now, no. <laughs> anyway, rearming system for infantry, fire teams, localized vehicle damage with two components. So if you hit the engine, it takes the engine out. If you hit the ammo, it pretty much fucks the whole vehicle up like normal. This is cool, awesome. Turret stabilization. So when you're driving a tank, you're not like flopping around where the vehicle goes. It's actually gonna be a relatively smooth ride. It's not gonna be like perfect, or it shouldn't be, but it's gonna be a lot better. The drivers can deploy smokes. You know how helpful that's gonna be? So you're not screaming at your gunner to do it? Like, deploy, deploy, man. Nope, you can be like, oh, we're getting shot. Pink, smoke, gone. A repair tool. I like it, but I'm not sure how it's going to work. Like, I can see it kicking in right here with, like, if your engine gets hit. I get it. But does this repair kit mean you can stop somewhere on the side of the road, repair your vehicle back to full health, and then go back in the fight? Or is it more like, you know, I'm making temporary repairs to get the vehicle back? back to main to actually do the like the real health repairs to the system so we'll see how that works eh it's just 
the spawn system. Cool, I guess. We'll have to see how this plays out because, like I was saying, this this is gonna make this totally change and if this makes this even more of a pain in the ass then obviously this is going to be even more hated so we'll see so yeah <laughs> user interface updates added u.s army m1a added a russian tank added the british armor taxi updated the apc to be up armored Updated the Bradley, updated the Bradley to a commander's position. Added a tow for the Russian faction, RPG, FAL, SKS, which is going to be, I think this is going to be pretty cool. SKS with an optic. Because I really hate the fucking iron sights on that little thing, but that's going to make it nice. Uh, updated the Russian RPG. Cool. Uh, mapping overhaul and added so all this is going to be really cool and yeah it's gonna be interesting to uh see what's gonna happen here soon and ta-da owi and all their cool peeps that went on vacation and their faces and whatnot so yeah hopefully uh we'll be seeing v12 soon <laughs> maybe three weeks guys we might see you in three weeks love y'all striker signing out see you on the battlefield